Hello everyone, today I want to tell you why Intel Core 2 series don't have iGPUs and they're not actually real. Let's get into it. Alright, so I am on the uh well, I should say the product menu of the manufacturer's website, which is Intel Corporation. Uh, they design CPUs, and you should all know that by now. And they kind of the CPU is actually launched in 2008, and it's discontinued. Of course, it is, and it's really old. But this thing is actually a game kind of CPU because I've seen people play it with uh, like real GPUs like actual real GPUs and they actually just wipe wipe first on the type spots yep and yep it is a game an entry level gaming CPU even though it's discontinued and it's launched in 2008 it's not actually launched well it's actually like when the product was actually launched but like in like other words, I have the 2009 version of it, which is uh, I'll pull it up right here, which is CPU Z. Uh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right, so it's gonna open up right there. All that we can still keep talking about this. Um, now why? What is the graphics card? So if you go to the graphics, which is right here, it's the Intel. Um, Intel Q45 slash Q43 Express chipset, and it's from Microsoft Corporation. Now that is the weirdest thing I ever saw. Cause even though it is supposed to be from Intel Corporation, it's actually from Microsoft Corporation, which is kind of weird. Now here's why it's a graphics card. Um, Windows. I want to talk about a little bit about Windows. It's kind of weird when it comes to graphics because whenever you connect, like it, I'm on a desktop right now because it does say this it's a desktop CPU, so I'm on a desktop as you can tell by the Ethernet because everybody has when it, when people have Ethernet, I can tell that that it's a desktop because we're connected to Ethernet. So um, Windows has something crazy about this when it comes to graphics. It actually knows. It actually knows a like a graph, a real graphics card. When you actually connect the motherboard, motherboard, like HDMI, whatever it has HDMI, VJ or DVI. When you connect that into a monitor, it actually shows it as a graphics card. And you know what I mean, guys. You should know what I mean. If you use Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, you should know Device Manager. The vice manager is an old school type of thing that you actually still you you can use in Windows 10, but yeah, it it's the yeah as you can see Intel Q45 slash Q43 Express chipset from Microsoft Corporation WDDDM 1.1, and it's from 2013, which was the latest update for some reason. I guess they stopped supporting it. <laughs> I guess Microsoft did not not Intel, so I guess I guess so. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's just gonna say other devices, whatever. So that's what you actually see. But why is it a graphics card? I mean, like a real graphics card. So it's not integrated. So as you can see, that's the definition of what an iGPU is. So it's integrated graphics. Um, let me show you for some reason. So I got a, a tab for a reason. This tab. So this is like a i7-4770 from the fourth generation. It's still, it's a discontinued CPU which was launched in 2014. And it discontinued on July 14th, 2017. And yeah, it was using a graphics card called the Intel... HD graphics, so it is a graphics card because it actually says graphics. Okay, it's graphics, and I'll tell you why. So if you actually play an actual game, like let's say Minecraft Java Edition, 
you open it up on the CPU, on the CPU, um, um, play it, and you'll notice that you got 1 through 7 FPS. Now, that's not a graphics card. Now, that's legit not a graphics card and, and legit stuff, but it's not, it's not actually a, a legit graphics card. It's because, you know why? It's only for business. I know, right? That's kind of that's that's why that's, that's that makes sense, right? That literally makes sense. So it means that it's only for business, but at the same time, when you try to play a game, you cannot. It doesn't work. Like, it, let me show you. Let me show you. Like, if you play in Minecraft, um, I'm not. This is the this is the Bedrock version, but on the Bedrock version, you don't. It doesn't give you like it gives you a warning that you uh there's no graphics on it so yeah that's proof that there's no graphics on this PC like actual game gaming graphics so eight Intel HD graphics is a gaming gaming slash uh video graphics card and it's actually it's actually so if you go to the core two duo it's actually not legit it's literally not legit a legit um graphics card because it doesn't actually say anything about the graphics so this things this makes me think that microsoft did something wrong so th they did something wrong i don't know why they did this but th it's something wrong there's something wrong so if you want to game on this cpu which you still can in 2021 because it is the best still the best cpu out there that um that older CPU like old CPUs I can actually game that's in that car type of ga category um yeah so that's the logo right here and yeah you got you also you get you clocked up up to uh, three gigahertz and all that but yeah you don't get hyper threading and all all those special abilities you do get vir vir virtualization technology and all that. Uh, and it's a uh, 64 bit uh, CPU, so yeah, it's it's weird. It's actually weird, cause at the same time, it's 2008. It's from 2008, and it's managed to. I managed to upgrade this to Windows 10. Windows 10 feels much better, but not like I'm. I'm recording this without graphics. You have to feel like I'm. I'm crazy, right? I'm really not doing it. I'm really, I have no graphics card. That's not doing it. But all it is, is just a CPU doing its job, trying to do stuff, but like, it can't do it. It just can't do it. It needs some kind of help. That's why a GPU is a thing. It needs a thing to help this thing. That's why you need to buy a GPU from either NVIDIA or AMD's or AMD. Because I don't know what to tell you if you don't. Because if you want to game on the CPU without any graphics, you're not gonna, you're not getting forward. It, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. De definitely not gonna work. But yeah, you also, you can also see that you could get like GTX uh, 1050, uh, GT 1030s, uh, GT 710, which um, you, sh you sh can't, you can't do it. Do, do, don't do it. But you could do Radeon and all that, but. I'm just recommending you not just get a t GT1040 because it's better, it's cheap, uh, I mean, well, kind of cheap, but like, yeah. Once you install that thing, um, here's how to install it, it's kind of a quick video, but I will put in the des description of how to install a video card. Um, it's pretty easy, um, all you have to do is like, it's something called PCIe, it's, it's a little bracket, it's a little bracket inside your PC that like, um, desktops that can actually put anything in it so like a GPU it depends on how many pins on the GPU it has so yeah you see all these like yellow stuff on the bottom edge of the CPU I mean GPU those are for the PCIe Express cards to go in there and boom go on that and go on about your business and start gaming that's it um but yeah, but I am going to actually upgrade this PC to um, to a Samsung SSD. Uh, I'm expecting for eight gigs of RAM, and 
Hopefully I get a GT. GT 10 for, for a graphics card. Because it is actually good. It, on the crowd version, it's better. It's so much better. I, I'm on a dual series, it's good, it's good, but like, yeah. As you can see, this is actually fake. Don't trust this, uh, thing, because Microsoft's so weird with all this, all, all their stuff. I don't know why it's like some kind of like, um, I don't know, some, it's probably some kind of agreement between Microsoft and Intel for business, and they came up with Express chipset as a graphics card for Windows Vista, and later, I don't know why, that's kind of weird, but yeah, see you guys later in the next video, bye bye.